Hi there, Lai Macedo Sweetie from LaiMacedo.com. And who's Lai Macedo? Okay. Uh, today, um, I, I just want to answer an email. I got this email from... Uh, uh, okay. Um, Rita just asked me, Lai, could you give me your views of the job market in the UAE as of now? Okay. So, first and foremost, today's date is February 20, 2016. Uh, our time right now is 2 in the afternoon. All right. Uh, just want to... Uh, well, I'll, I'll give you my opinion, okay? Uh, my opinion. I'm not saying that's the correct opinion, but this is just my opinion of how the job market is right now. Uh, uh, see, as of now, out of whatever I've been hearing from my friends and other sources, uh, the the market is still really looking bad, okay? The recession is still there. It's pretty active. The market has slowed down a lot. Uh, people have money. It's not that people don't have money, but people don't want to spend uh, because... They do not know if they're going to get uh, business or they do not know if they're going to get clients. They do not know if uh, the money market is going to revolve. Uh, when people are doing transactions, let's say, for example, you're going to do a project, they tell them that uh, they give them, a, uh, you know, they ask for increased delay in time. Like, uh, for example, they say they will pay instead of uh, uh, 30 days, they'll pay 60 days or 90 days later or 120 days later. So when you uh, try to let's say, when you're involved in a project, you're taking resources from someone uh, where you have to pay money, then you're investing these resources in creating uh, and completing a project. So what happens is you need to pay this guy and you're expecting money from this guy. So then this guy says, I'll pay you a lot later, then obviously you need to tell the guy you took uh, stuff from, I'll pay you a lot later. So all this is delaying payments in the market and then if you have the guy who you took money from, he says, I can't pay you, then you have a problem and you can't pay this guy. So uh, right now what is happening is there is a fear in the market that uh, the money market is down and uh, because of which things are not moving. And over that, you need to understand, uh, mostly banks have been hit pretty bad. They are, uh, if not shutting down departments, they are leaving skeleton stuff. I know of one company where there were a thousand employees um, they were mostly supplying war-related uh, uh, products, and they have reduced it to 80 people, 80 from 1,000. So this is just one-off. And uh, some of the banks, I found out that people are even afraid to borrow money, even though they have decreased interest rates. So that is another shocking trend that seems to be happening. So people are afraid. People are afraid to uh, commit to themselves. And the worst part is, you know, when you have these banks having hidden charges, then you have all these problems that uh, spike up and uh, you know, raise the ugly head. So the market is down. Uh, if you uh, if you are looking for uh, changing your job, I tell you to be very, very, uh, be very scared uh, to change your jobs. In fact, I, I found uh, many people telling me, not all, but few people telling me of examples of bad stories, like they asked them to go to Quiche Island to change their visas, and once they went to Quiche Island, uh, you know, there's nothing else from the company. The company is saying, sorry, you know, there's no more requirements. There have been people who have asked, like, uh, can you resign from your job and join us? And after they resign, uh, they tell them that, uh, okay, the management has decided that, uh, you know, we need to revise the package that we offered you. Now, imagine the guy left his job, left a secure job to try something new, and then, you know, he's left stranded. And even worse is in some cases where after they ask to resign from the job and they join a new job, uh, they tell them, listen, uh, we are not happy with your performance, so we have to revise the package. Now, what do you do next if your expenses are 20,000, you are taking home a salary of 30,000, and now they're telling you they'll not even pay you 20,000, which is your minimum. So how do you face such problems? So this is what is happening in the market. Uh, the market is really scary right now. I tell you to be very cautious, but you need to start thinking about the future. So what do I mean by that? You need to get your profile ready, you need to get your resume ready, you need to make sure that you're future proof, that you're out there in the market, that you are marketing yourself, you're networking with people, and you know how to market yourself much more, uh, and you know how to, uh, you, uh, you have learned the process, of not only the work that you're doing, but rather you've learned the process of how to sell yourself, so that, that, that takes a little bit of work and effort. Uh, so, yeah, right now, my personal opinion of the market condition is to be very cautious, is to be very careful, is to be very calculated uh, and uh, not not take haphazard decisions. And remember this, the money market is tight. 
irrespective of what they say uh, in the newspapers, which they're trying to keep the market without panicking. Uh, it is a difficult time and it's affecting not just one country, it's affecting everywhere in the world. So because the money rotates and revolves. So, yeah, uh, you know, I would just tell you that uh, whatever step you're taking, uh, make sure that you think a hundred times before you do it, because at the end, uh, the market is unpredictable in nature, at least for this, it's pretty volatile. Um, so Lloyd from Lloyd Macedo, our common news, Lloyd Macedo, uh, sharing with you his views of the market current, uh, conditions currently in the month of February. And um, how long do I see this recession lasting? I think it's going to be till 2016, till the mid of 2017. That's as far as I see it. So any questions, i uh, love to hear from you, Lloyd from LloydMacedo.com. Uh, send me the emails uh, and I'll answer them whenever I can. So thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now.